Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another Corvette video. I'm doing this video for a couple of reasons, mostly because one of the most asked questions that I've, I have received on social media is why did I get rid of my other Corvette just to go and buy pretty much the same Corvette that I had? Well, that's a good question and it's a little complex but kind of simple at the same time. So. Just to kind of rewind, the other vet that I had was an O2Z06. It was a rebuilt title car that I got rid of my WS6 Trans Am to get into. I've always had this fascination with Corvettes. Uh, my dad is a Corvette guy. He's got a C3 Corvette convertible. And I was kind of raised around cars, much, much to kind of how my 3000 GT video started. You know, the uh, Corvette was just one of those cars that I seen that I absolutely fell in love with and I always said if I was able to get one one day I would get it and probably never get rid of it so my buddy Justin that I got my first Corvette off of the Corvette that you seen the plastic dip projects and all of that he was from Kentucky he posted it up for sale either on Facebook marketplace or on Craigslist at the time I can't really remember but Anyway, I contacted him. I did not know him at the time. Uh, you know, he was looking for a Trans Am. I was looking for a Corvette. The Corvette was an absolute project car, like I said. It was wrecked at one point. Um, it didn't have a rebuilt title. I looked it up on Carfax. It said minor accident, so nothing too catastrophic. So I went ahead, pulled the trigger. I had to buy two headlight covers for it, and the car needed painted. So I got my buddy Derek and Brent that owned modified motorsports at the time to paint the car justin did give me paint the carbon flash metallic that is on the 2012 and centennial edition cars so i got my buddy Derek to paint it absolutely loved it but the car still needed work um and the guy I actually sold it to has it completely lined out it, it now has a aftermarket cam everything the car came with long tube headers x pop and the factory titanium corvette exhaust or the z06 exhaust and I loved the car, absolutely loved it, but I kept putting it on the back burner because it was a project car. So Adam actually messaged me a year prior when I first put that car up for sale, wanting to buy it. I kept backing out, and I actually backed out for two years from selling that car because I always said if I got a Corvette, I would never get rid of it. And if I do have children one day, I wanted to actually hand the car off to them. So. It was really, really a struggle, even though the car needed a lot of work to get rid of it. So, Adam messaged me again. I don't even know if I had the car up for sale, and he just messaged me, hey, you know, I just got rid of one of my cars. I'm looking for another one. If you're interested in selling the Z06, I've got cash. Let's get this done. And it was probably one of the hardest car-related decisions that I've made to get rid of that car. And uh, we agreed on a price that I thought was reasonable he thought was reasonable and we went ahead and made the deal he came from a little west of lexington came here to logan to get the car loaded up on the trailer and the car had a really bad vacuum leak he tracked it down to the brake booster uh, he got the car running from what i assume fantastically but i do think that he is getting rid of that car now um fyi if anybody's going to be looking for a z06 soon um pretty good deal on the car for what i understand and now it's a cam all the major issues have been fixed um i'll put his social media contact in the uh, in the comments below so anyway made the deal with him and i said i was just going to take the cash that i got from that kind of get out of cars for a little while i still have my 3000 gt which will probably always be my favorite car but i said i was just going to pay off some other things like my side by side is financed I said I was just going to pay it off and get rid of the payment, and then me being the car guy I am, I kept kept on Facebook Marketplace, Cars.com, Auto Trader, just kind of scoping out other cars, and I kept seeing this 99 FRC pop up 
under the suggested on Facebook marketplace. So I messaged the guy and we couldn't originally come to a price that I was comfortable with paying on this car um, because it does have a little bit higher mileage, um, not too much for an LS car, honestly, because these motors are great. I mean, two, three hundred thousand miles I've actually seen these motors go. And uh, he messaged me and said, you know, hey, I can come down to your original offer, um, which like I said, I don't talk about price on this channel. I'm never going to talk about price on this channel of anything I buy or sell. Um, so we agreed to a price and then I went and looked at the car and the car needed just a little bit more than what I thought. Like in the pictures, the paint looked a lot better than what it was. Uh, where it was a California car, the clear coat had burnt off a little bit. So me and him uh, kind of went back and forth and I actually passed on this car at first. Um, I did offer him just a little bit less to compensate for the issues that I didn't know it had, which which is not many at all. So he messaged me back and said, hey, I can do that. Um, the car has a lien on it. I'm still paying on it, but we can get this done. So I took the money up there, paid him, brought the car home. Uh, four days later, he sent me a message and said, hey, car's paid off, lien's released, and good to go. So got the car home, and now it is officially switched over to my name. I fully own this car now, which is an absolute relief. So this is going to be the car that I originally said the first Corvette was going to be. I looked at a couple other ones. I really want a C6 car. I really want it more specifically a C6 Grand Sport. Um, automatic or manual, don't really care. That will be coming eventually. I promise you that will come to the channel eventually. However, and that being said, I've got a sweet spot in my heart for these C5 Corvettes. Um, I always have as it was the model that came out kind of like what my 3000 GT did in the late 90s early 2000s when I really really became a car guy so I went ahead started my search back for one of those but I didn't really want the target top cars um, I just like the look of the FRC's and the Z06 kind of uh, hard top cars so when I did find this one it was it was you know obvious that it, this was going to be the one I pulled the trigger on but this car does need some work like I showed you in that walk around video it's the uh, heater core does need replaced it's bypassed I did find that out so thank you for all the guys that helped me on uh, the C5 Corvette groups on Facebook and Corvette forum for letting me know what in the world was wrong with it uh, the AC is going to need recharged and the car is going to get repainted. And I think I found a guy local that is really, really good. Um, actually owns uh, Logan Body Shop Supply here. So he actually owns the uh, Body Shop Supply company here locally. And he also does the painting, obviously. But really good. Seen a lot of his work. So I think that's the guy I'm going to go with just so I can stay local. And I'll do, with his permission, a full kind of beginning and end overview of this car getting painted. But so. That brings me back to why Corvettes, and like I said, it comes back to my father. He was a Corvette guy when I was growing up. He always said he wanted a Corvette. When he got close to retire, he would buy a Corvette. He is a coal miner. He is coming up on his retirement, so I believe, and he did pull the trigger and, like I said, buy him a C3, and he actually enjoyed the heck out of my C5. Um, when I was buying my house that I'm in now, I actually left the car with him because I didn't have anywhere to keep it. Um, he drove it a couple times, loved it. Um, he hasn't actually seen this car yet, and I actually need to get it up there and let him see it, drive it, and all that. So, that's kind of my backstory of why, why you know, I was kind of so obsessed with these cars. And I, ju I just want to give this car to my children later on. This car is going to stay with me, bearing any kind of catastrophe with the car, or heaven forbid, with me. But... These cars hold such a sweet spot in my heart. I can't tell you the feeling I get when I drive these. It's just a feeling of euphoria. And anybody that owns a Corvette, and it's not because, hey, it's a Corvette and it's, you know, being that guy. It's just this car is so perfect for me. It's comfortable. It gets absolutely terrific fuel mileage. Like, I'm getting 30 miles to the gallon in six gear at 65 miles per hour on the highway. And I don't know a whole lot of other sports cars, minus these LS cars, that can get that kind of fuel economy. 
that being said, I don't know much about the Coyote Mustangs. Um, I know they're really good bang for the buck kind of cars, but the sound of this car, the feeling of the shifter, the feeling of the seats, the being low to the ground, the fenders and hood, how it kind of rises up on the side and kind of puts you right down in the middle of the car. There's just so many great things about these cars that just, it just holds on to me and I can't get rid of it. I can't stay away from them. And like I said, this one I don't believe is going anywhere. I did want to get back in another C5 Z06, but it was kind of out of the budget for what I sold that car for and what I felt comfortable with paying to get another one. So I did get a steal on this FRC car. This is like the precursor to the Z06, same body minus the side vents that I will be putting on, as I said in my last Corvette video. And I'm probably gonna to switch to an LS6 intake and the 243 heads and get the car tuned with Blue Cat, which if you're an LS guy, at least on the East Coast, you probably know who Blue Cat is. He's one of the best LS tuners from what I understand. Um, Tick Performance actually commented on my last video talking about, you know, maybe doing something with him and getting a cam in the car. But I don't know if I'm going to go that far because I don't want to mess with the drivability of this car. Because this is going to be my car that I do my trips in to the car events. And speaking of that, uh, five car events that I'm going to be at and I would love to meet people and check out your cars. Streetcar Takeover in Columbus in June. Streetcar Takeover in Charlotte, North Carolina. We are going to be doing uh, the LS Fest over in Bowling Green in September. We're going to be doing Rod Run down in Pigeon Forge. And I think I'm going to try to do one more streetcar takeover, but I'm not sure about that. And I'm also going to be trying to get on the track with a couple of my buddies and track this car. I think that would be absolutely amazing to get this car on a track where I could, you know, hammer down with no threat of getting pulled over for speeding or, you know, uncontrollable, like, uncontrollable circumstances of the highway. Like, uh, deer and elk are really bad around here. So, it's nice to not have to deal with that on the track. I know I'm dragging this video out, but I cannot tell you how much I love this car, how much I love daily driving this car now, because it's got split duty with the 3000 GT. Um, as far as daily drivers go, yes, I still do have the 3000 GT. Uh, I'm gonna put some tires and actually do the maintenance on it that I said that I, you know, had been kind of been lacking. But, like I said, if you haven't drove a C5 Corvette and you want to, you're in my area, I will meet up with you, let you drive this car, see what you think. I would love to get your reactions on it. I do have the other car uh, related series coming up. Don't know what I'm gonna name it yet, but I'm gonna meet up with a bunch of people, check out their cars, uh, get their stories as well. So I'm gonna cut this off here. If you like this video, if you like the car, if you like my story, if you wanna share your story, please in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up, my like squad. Subscribe to the channel, we're on our way to 2K. Subscribers, we're like at 1,050 now, 1,030, so we're on our way. We're on our way, fellas. And gals, if there's gals. If there's 2% uh, female that watch this, so guys more than gals, obviously. So, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.